is Brennan trying to apply for his first no. job. So he's applying for a lifeguarding position. It's like Red Rover, Red Rover, send Ryan right over. <laughs> it's all good. Sorry, Kate. My name is Brennan Donnelly. I shouldn't have come home today. This is Brennan. Trying to apply for his first no. job. <laughs> it's, it's you guys forcing me to apply for this. I, I listen. I feel you, man. I totally feel you. <laughs> but you want a job, don't you? Yes, but I never said I wanted this job. Mm. Yes, you do. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to wear your guard T-shirt. I've always wanted to have a lifeguard T-shirt. Wow, you think you I'm a lifeguard, Michael? You don't get to touch my guard T-shirt. I've always wanted one. Like ever matter. since I was a kid, I wanted a lifeguard T-shirt. And every time I see somebody with a lifeguard T-shirt, I'm jealous. Envious. Would you rather be a guard at a pool or at a beach, ocean? Beach. A beach. Yes, like Baywatch. Yes. I'd like to be um, David Hasselhoff. Well, it might be a little too late, but you still could try. <laughs> you're a good swimmer, Mike. And you're strong. And you'd look nice in that shirt. <laughs> My brother Mike was a lifeguard at the beach. Yes. And he kind of did look like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> so Brennan. Is uh, Mike is hoping that Brennan will apply for a job to be a lifeguard at the local pool. Brennan, for some reason, well, hey, but what job would you rather have? Has a lot of time on his hands. Oh, just kidding. And he doesn't play water polo. Oh, just kidding. And he doesn't take a lot of APs. Oh, also just kidding. <laughs> I don't necessarily think Dad's talking about you working right now, are you? Well, all right. I'm happy to announce that Brennan pushed the button and applied for, well, did he actually apply for the job? No, he, he sent an email to the aquatics director, so he's applying for a lifeguarding position, and he sent it, so that is something to celebrate. I think Mike and I take for granted how, um, how easy it is for us to communicate with adults and sort of like do what we need to do to get things done, and we're realizing that the kids are still just learning and growing, so um, we couldn't understand why Brennan wouldn't just send the email, <laughs> but now I kind of get it. Like he's like this is the first time he's done it, and asking someone for a job or asking them for to apply for a job um, is a little nerve wracking if you've never done it before. And humbling. It's humbling. And humbling. It, it sure is. It sure is. So anyway, congratulations to him. We will keep you informed of Brennan's first job. Hopefully he gets it um, but there's a bit of a process to go through first but comment down below what your first job was um, Mike what was your first job I was a dishwasher at Captain Cook's what was Captain Cook's an Cook? Italian restaurant in Ridgemont Plaza in Rochester New York it was awesome oh my gosh yes wow at the end of the night they would bring out all the pots and pans and I was like oh man it was a hard job uh, and sometimes when people would bring their pizza back and they didn't eat the whole thing I would take a piece of pizza <laughs> and eat it is that bad I think everybody's done that. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Was it good pizza? Yeah, it was. It was good pizza. Yes, yeah. but it was hard work. It was really hard work. I remember, like, you'd spray the pans and the uh, hot water oh, yes. back up at you and stuff. It was hard, but um, but it was fun, and uh, I met a lot of good people. It was, uh, something about restaurants that uh, that uh, gives you a good work ethic. I think. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. How about you? Oh, well, yo, know, my first job was also in restaurants. So I was um, a bus girl. <laughs> so I brought, I took all the dirty plates and uh, I gave them to you. I brought whoa. them off all the, all the tables. I would have said, you're a kid. You would have? Yeah. I'd have been like, hey, who's the dishwasher? Right. <laughs> Ooh, who's the busser? <laughs> so I was a bus girl. That's kind of the way we met. That is kind of the way we met, actually. We'll have to do a story time. People have asked about story time, about how we met and our our story of falling in love yeah. and everything. So maybe we'll share that. Would that be fun? Yeah. All right. So anyway, I was a bus girl at the Firehouse Restaurant in New York. And um, I would, the worst part about it was my shoes where I had these black sneakers, you know, that's what you wore. Mm. And they would just get so disgustingly greasy. It was like, there was like salad dressing and oil and all yeah. this stuff, all the sludge on the floor. Yeah. But again, working in restaurants, it's a it's a it's a tough job. Um, but I worked in restaurants all the way through college and even after college yeah. too. You so definitely learn customer service. There, you right? definitely learn, yes, how to deal with all kinds of people and not deal with, but how to um, work with, I suppose, work yeah. with and handle all kinds of people. So that was a good job. So anyway, so we'll keep you informed as to whether or not Brennan is successful in this whole job search. Yeah, I love it. Definitely, yes. I'm very interested to know what your first jobs were. I know, I love hearing that. Or if you have a first job. 
Yes, maybe you have one now. Maybe you haven't had one yet. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so our mids are coming over tonight for dinner. It is Thursday. They normally come on Wednesday, but today's Thursday, and we are doing breakfast for dinner, which is so exciting. We've done lots of different um, things for dinner. We've had chicken alfredo for them. We've had... Um, Pass, or we did, last week we did Mexican food, and today is breakfast for dinner. So look what we have prepared. We are going to make an egg casserole. So it's hash browns, sausage, cheese, and eggs. So that's gonna go right in there. We're making pancakes, and Morgan is dying for um, chocolate chip pancakes, so here's her chocolate <laughs> chips. We have chocolate chip pancakes there. This is gonna be bacon, we're cooking bacon in there. And this is gonna be the fruit salad over here. We have apples, oranges, mangoes, strawberries and I have some um, grapes and blueberries in the refrigerator. We'll make a little fruit salad for everybody. Every time I hear fruit salad, I think fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Remember that? Yes. What was that? That was salad. the Wiggles, right? It was the Wiggles. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I love the Wiggles. Yeah. Fruit salad, <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. All right, so let's see what's happening. Oh, look, I, went, I did a Sam's Club haul today. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. All right, let's see what Katie's up to. She's laying here with Alice. What are you working on? <laughs> I cough all the time now. Yeah, I don't know why. I haven't, I literally, I haven't gotten rid of this cough for like a month. Do you think you're getting enough sleep? Yeah. You do? It's just the past two, uh, and actually last night I did, but the, the night before that I didn't, but like, I haven't been going to sleep late for like a long time. I want you to be healthy, baby girl. Start eating some more fruits and vegetables. And chicken soup. I'll make you chicken soup. It's but okay. tonight it's pancakes and egg souffle. I'm not eating pancakes yeah. or eggs you fly. Well, the eggs would be good for you. It's just, it's eggs and sausage um, mixed in, like as a casserole. Or fruit salad, I'm making fruit salad. Yeah, ah, okay, 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 okay. Um, how was driver's ed? Uh, it was fine. I'm gonna start working on my English homework pretty soon. Okay, that sounds good. Um, Dad said you got 100 on a quiz at driver's ed. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, what was the it's quiz on? It's really not even that hard to get 100. I was just, what was I was just at? geeking about it. Um, also, uh -huh. my nails. I was thinking about it. Actually, wait. And they're not good for driving. No, they are amazing. Uh, also, I'm making a lantern in art, and let me tell you. A lantern? Yeah, it's fire. That's so cool. Well, haha, <laughs> that's funny. It's fire, get it? Remember the other day, oh. last week, you paying yeah. attention to me? Yeah. Remember last week when you called me because school was stinky and you wanted to leave and we had a great mm -hmm. day together? Yes. How are you feeling now? Are you better? Yes. You are? Yeah. No more teen problems? What I mean, day was that? There will always be teen problems. What day was that? I think it was Wednesday. Because Thursday, everything got better, and I've literally been happy since then. No, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. And then Wednesday wasn't great, and then Thursday was a great day. Because I went away to Florida. <laughs> not sure if that's That was not day. why. But, okay, I, okay. but everything I just got better. I remember you calling me. Yeah. Everything got better. And then Friday was amazing. Saturday was amazing. Sunday was amazing. Monday was amazing. Tuesday was pretty hey, darn good. Hey, you're going to your vlog? Yeah, but I need to edit it. Okay, so you wanna, we want to make sure you get it up. Katie has decided she's going to do... When she can, she'll do some weekend vlogs, like vlogs of what she's doing on the weekend. So you should, why don't you do your homework tonight quick so you can edit it, so we can watch it, so it's not old news, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do another one this weekend? Um, I don't know if I'm doing as many exciting things this weekend, but I could. That'd be fun, because it it's just what you're doing, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they're exciting, sometimes it's not. So this cat likes to scratch me up. Oh, my nails! Oh! I was talking I about my talking nails. About. Yay! There we go. Everybody's probably in the comments like, nails, nails, she's talking about her nails, she's talking about her nails. Anyways, so, um, this is what they look like now. Oh. This one's gone. Yeah. I just, I it just, I don't know how. It Do you just... want to film mine? Let's have a contest. Who has worse nails right now? Look at this one. Yeah. Oh my this... gosh. Okay. Wait, is that one cracked? Yes. He's talking, talking to Ryan. That's incredibly unfortunate. Do you know why my nails are like that? So then mine are better because you keep grinding on the. Yours are, exactly because I'm doing my kitchen and I keep using them as tools. So I then mine look you look good compared to yours. They look fantastic. But um, yeah, I know, and I like them a lot. I actually really, really like them. But I keep getting black, and I love black because it's like my favorite color. But I can't keep getting black because then no one realizes that I have new nails on. You know what I'm uh, saying? Ah, and, and I for want more for you. For you. It's for me. For you too. Yeah. But also like. And I love, I love the black nails. Well, come back but to that. But I'm gonna come back to black after my next, the, the color I'm gonna do next, and I know what color I'm doing next. Let me guess, neon pink. Okay, <laughs> what, what, no. what? Think again. Blue. Think again. Maroon. I think it's, uh, I think it's Green. The, I think it's not as out of the box. Oh, never mind, okay, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Gray. 
That's fabulous, Katie. No, I'm so excited about it. Okay. It's gonna, but it's gonna be like a cool, like a dope, like look at, like the color of my Yeti. Ooh, like a, like a dark, like a ooh, dark, that's like, really great. Like not a black, but like, okay. but like almost black. Cool. Is it gonna be matte? <laughs> no. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would love to continue to talk. I here, love, like, I, I love these and I like their shape and everything, but it's just this finger. Our, our I'm gonna listen to my hands. audiobook and then I'm gonna do my homework. Okay, love you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Ridiculous. Look, well, Wait, what's oh, happening? I just look at Ryan. It's like, oh, he's getting tall. He is getting really he's he's like, what a drag. I left. Look, he went. Look, this is eight twenty one nineteen. Look, where he's from at. August till now. Look right here. Oh my gosh, Ryan, that's like three inches. Stop and growing, August, man. In August, September, October, November, December, January, February. In six months, that's Stop growing. That's pretty good. It's a half an inch uh, a month. I'm not growing. You guys are messing with me. No, I'm serious. I'm not. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not. I'm really like, not messing with really? you. Yeah. No. You like, are. Look at me. Look at you next to me now. Uh, I mean, well, <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. I, oh, I don't man, even know if I can pick you up anymore. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. Let me try. All right. Can I pick you up anymore? No, no, no. You have to do it this way because that's the only way I can do it. Ready? You have to jump. One, two, three. <laughs> like oh, that? wait, wait. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're all right. <laughs> oh, my now you're little really baby. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, if I fall down the stairs, that right. would be really nice. <laughs> 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 Well, that would be comfortable. You can't be carrying me around like that now. All of a sudden, Ryan uh, picks you up and you guys go tumbling down the stairs. That'd be terrible. Uh, right, come on, help me out, right. bud. This is here because I wanted to put the... Um, Little Stuart, it is bald, but he was sleeping, so I didn't want to wake him oh, up. He, he, he did wake up. Is he awake? Oh, you can put him in the ball now. How does he know that? How does he know that? That he's awake? And why is his name Stuart? Because we didn't want him to be monkey. He didn't name a monkey. That was stupid. Stuart Little, don't you know those, the story? Oh, Stuart? yes. Thank you. So we named him after kind of Stuart Little because he looks like him. All right, you guys, we finished our dinner, and I completely again forgot to film when our mitts were here because we have so much fun, and I'm paying more attention to having fun with them than I yeah. am to filming. Sorry, you didn't do homework, buddy. Uh huh. Okay. What you working on? Gotta do some science one pager, and I've been putting it off for so long. Oh. And now I'm like, all right, I actually have to gotta focus, focus and do it, huh? I don't want to. Okay, then I'm, I'm not gonna it. interrupt you. You are. That's awesome. Oh, really? You know, sometimes it's like you don't <laughs> exactly. want to do it, but you have to sit down and charge it. Like right yeah. now. I'm kind of over the kitchen. Not really over. I'm still excited about it, but I have to right. go yeah, out now and start to clean the. Last frame, I know. So how about this? How long do you think it's gonna take you? Uh, give me ten minutes. Oh, mine's gonna take about forty-five minutes. So how about this? When you're finished, will you be finished with your homework when you finish this? Uh, no, I have to do some on, on Google Classroom. Okay, so how about in forty-five minutes you meet me out there and we have a little celebratory something or other? Is that good? Sounds great. So you stay at it, I'll stay at it, and we'll meet. When right. we're done. All right. like what it. made you happy today? It's been a great day because um, tomorrow is my last day at school before I go to Canada. Uh, and then, uh, so I'm getting all my homework done tonight. Uh, I've got a lot done. got all my math done. And I see this. One thing on Google Classroom that I'm set. And I don't want to worry about anything. Yay. And then I go to Quebec, and, and then I get back Wednesday night, which means I just go to school Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, tomorrow, or I mean Thursday, Friday, the next, next week. week, and then it's the weekend again. So I'm I'm chilling right now. That's awesome. Just gotta get this out of the way. Get it out of the way. Fantastic. All right, you uh, do that. The good thing is though, uh, the Madden Mobile challenges that I need to do. Yeah. Uh. They're open Thursdays and Fridays, uh -huh. so I'll probably do mine tomorrow, okay. and then I'll go on the trip, and I'll get back and, and do, be it able to do it again. So I almost have a 93 rated center, but I need to do the challenges. You guys, do any of you play Madden Mobile? Comment down below. And just say if you Madden. play Madden, because I play Madden on Xbox, like oh, the actual Madden. Same deal. But <laughs> we only have like Madden 17. I didn't. I don't want to get Madden 20 because I feel like it's, I'm a little late. So me and Brennan talked and we're agreed we, we're getting Madden 21. Uh, okay. So I'm excited about that. 
fantastic. But I, I can't wait for Madden 21 to come around, though. Bam. <sighs> All right, excellent. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. I I do, I want to do Superstar KO, though. If you guys know anything about men, you'll know what I'm talking about, but. <laughs> I know nothing. I know nothing about what you're talking yeah. about. Superstar KO is like So this you can thing. keep talking if you want to. I'm going to take this and put it in our hamster's cage because the lady at or the um, pet store told me that they like these. So really? you keep talking about men. I'm going to put this in. <laughs> but, you okay. So just Superstar KO, I just want to tell you guys. Uh, you get to pick. About, I think, five players in the beginning. There's uh, oh, sorry, commons, buddy. rares, ultra rares, and then legendaries. And uh, you get to pick, like, five people to add to your team. And then it's a, it's like a, it's a tournament with, like, 16 players, I think. And uh, what, if you beat someone, it's just, it's just, you get one position, they get one position. If you both score, then it goes into uh, this overtime thing. But anyway, if you win, you get to steal one of the players. And uh, by the end, Ooh, it's like Red Rover, like, Red Rover, send Ryan right over. <laughs> Is that not right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so you know, you don't understand Madden. Yeah, I don't understand old persons. <laughs> you don't know Red Rover? Red you never Rover. played Red Rover? Is it like a video game? No. Is it anything like Madden? I'm out of here. <laughs> what is nice Red Rover? I love you. I want to know what Red Rover is. I'll Red tell Rover. you later. You people know Red Rover, Red Rover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Hi, Katie. Hi. How are you doing in here, lovey girl? Good. Good. Do you want to share what made you happy today? Yes. What made you happy today? Look, she's reading in the dark. Like, how can you possibly see that book? No wonder your eyes are bad. Please share what made you happy today. What made me happy today was seeing our meds because I love them. Oh, that's nice. Me too. Yeah. Forgot to film them again. Because I'm just always paying attention to having fun with them. Also, sometimes we don't need to film everything. Yeah, that's true. It's just nice to live in the moment. All right, baby girl. I'll come in and give you a goodnight kiss. Is that Walt Disney? No, it's John Steinbeck. Oh. Hi, John Steinbeck. Grapes of Wrath. It's the worst thing I've ever read. It's kind of a boring book. It's incredibly boring. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is a work of art. Um, I don't even remember. I know I read it. I don't even remember the story. Good night, baby girl. And you. What made you happy today, little girl? I know. You made me happy. You know that? All right, you guys. What made me happy today was definitely having our mids over. Definitely making some progress on the kitchen. Definitely Ryan growing three inches. Definitely, you did grow three inches. Def definitely going to the grocery store and getting all that good food. Um, actually, actually too, I went to Home Goods, which is a store we have near us. You guys might know Home Goods, but I started to look at some furniture. I'd like to. Now I'm extending mic. Sorry, but look at that. Like it's all dark furniture and stuff in there. I'm looking forward to my next project, which is after I'm finished with the kitchen, I think I'm gonna move into the hallway. I'm gonna paint that, put a new light in there, switch the dark stuff out for light stuff. What do you think about that, Mike? What? <laughs> it's all good. You're gonna live in a house that you love. <laughs> what made you happy today? Um, what made me happy today? Oh, well, thank you for asking. What made me happy today was, um, Brennan, um, making oh, some progress on his first job. We had a big day. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yes. Congratulations, Brennan. Yeah. That's awesome. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Good night, students. I love you. Good night, students. Love you. All right. I just went downstairs to see if Brennan wanted to share what made him happy, but he is zonked. He is out. He is donezo. After the mids came over and had dinner, and he had dinner, then he went to basketball practice at 9. It started at 9.15. So he had water polo and basketball today, so he is exhausted. I'm supposed to make his lunch, too. I can't forget to do that. Mm. All right, you guys. We had an amazing day today. So much fun. Awesome. It's great for a Thursday, a cold Thursday in February. So comment below what made you guys happy today we cannot wait to hear about it and all the other things we asked you to comment on during this video which is kind of a lot so you might have to write a john steinbeck novel <laughs> sorry kate uh we'll see you guys tomorrow bye thanks for watching be sure to thumbs up and subscribe see you later